Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdul Lajus Ahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue our previous video and in this video, we are going to try how do we show all to do item in our home screen. So let's open our previous project. So this is our previous project and to show to do items inside our home screen, firstly, we need to open home screen file all right but before that we need to create a new method inside our to do service in the previous video we have created one method inside this file and right now we need to create new method again and we name it as read to do's and we make it asynchronous and we need to return and we need to call read data and what we need to read is all the item inside our to do's table and after that we need to go back to our home screen and we need to call to do service and we name it as to do service and below that we need to create list of to do and we name it as to do list and we assign with list of to do object after that we need to create new method and we name it as get all to do's and we make this method to be asynchronous and we call our to do service and we initialize with to do service again and below that we call our to do list again and after that we need to create new variable and we name it as to do's and we assign with to do service and we call our method and after that we need to create looping using for each and we say to do and inside that set state and we say model and we assign with to do and we say model.id And after that, we need to call our get all to do's inside init state. And after that, we need to go to our body. And we say right here. And we use listview.builder. And we need to provide item count. And we set it to to do list dot length. And for item builder, we set it to be context and index. And inside that, we need to return cut view or cut widget, I mean. And inside this cut widget, we can set elevation and then shape. We want to make it to be rectangle. And we say border radius and we set it to be zero. After that, we set child and we want to set it to be row. And after that, we set main axis alignment to be space between. And for the children, we provide some widget. The first widget is text. And we say to do list index dot title. And we say after that, Below our, I think we need to wrap this widget with list style. And inside this list style, we set title to be row. And for the subtitle, we set it to be text widget. And we want to show category. And for the trailing, we set it to be text widget again. And we want to show to do that. Alright, and let's try to run our app. And we don't see anything inside our home screen. I think we have an error. So I think our error, it's because we haven't yet add our item to our list. So we can say right here, and we want to add model. And restart our app. And now we see two item inside our home screen. 
that mean in the previous video we have inset to item to our database all right so let's make our item to be more beautiful and we can wrap this cut view with padding and for the padding we want to say only and top top left and right look like this and we can increase elevation and we can make it to be rounded as you want so we can change this to be i think description and much more you can customize this as you want all right so when we want to change category to be description we can call here and let's hot restart and now we see this is description and we can back to category and now change to category all right as simple as that so i think that's enough our video today see you on the next video